G'day guys, we've got a finance related question here today where we've got a situation where we notice that PepsiCo has a stock price of $52.66 and an earnings per share of $3.20. Its competitor, the Coca-Cola company, has an earnings per share of $2.49. Estimate the value of the Coca-Cola stock using only this information. Okay, so in this situation here, we're going to make use of the price earnings ratio and the, we're going to assume that companies in the same space, in this case fizzy drinks, are going to have similar PE ratios or price earnings ratios. So as a bit of a refresher, let's go over what the PE ratio or the price earnings ratio is. So the PE ratio, PE ratio for a company is the number of times it's stock price is greater than its earnings. So it's the multiples of the earnings that you have to pay for a particular share. So to work that out, we'd have the stock price. And obviously we're going to divide that by the earnings per share. Cool. So in this case, what we're going to have is for Pepsi, Our PE ratio is going to equal the stock price of $52.66 divided by its earnings per share of $3.20. and we get a PE ratio of 16.456. Cool, so what that means is at this particular point in time, we have to pay 16 times the earnings for, for the company. So for example, if they were to, if the company was to earn, if Pepsi was to earn a billion dollars in one year, the company would be worth $16.45 billion for anyone who wanted to buy it. Okay, so what we're going to do is this is the assumption that we make in a question like this or a situation like this. We're going to assume that the PE of Pepsi is going to be equal to the PE of Coke. So the, what we can do now is if we assume that companies in the same space have the same price earnings ratios, what we know is we know the earnings of Coca-Cola. So what we can do is if we've got We've got the PE ratio is the stock price divided by the earnings per share. What we can then do is we can say, well, the stock price then, or how much we like a estimate for the stock price, is going to be equal to the PE ratio times the earnings per share. Just using a bit of algebra there. So what we can do is we can take this little formula, bring it down here, and what we can do is we can say, well, the stock price of Coke should be roughly equal to 16.456 times the earnings per share of $2.49 and because the earnings per share of Coke is less than the earnings per share of Pepsi we should expect a lower share price and we do get a lower share price if we jam that into our calculator we get $40.98 so that is our estimate on the value of a Coca-Cola share. Now there's obviously going to be other factors that are involved in determining what a value of a share is. But if you're 
if Coca-Cola deviates a lot from this particular number, it might trigger a, a buying or a selling opportunity. But, you know, the company's overall debt burden, you know, the management in control, any particular um, acquisitions or mergers that it's going to make in the future, um, consumer preference, past earnings, volatility, all of those will come into play when we're trying to determine an average stock price or expected stock price. And that's why, you know, the what analysts actually forecast for a stock price and what the actual stock price is are some usually two completely different things. But in this simple example, we can see if, if we assume that the companies in similar industries will have similar PE ratios, we can estimate the value of Coca-Cola to be $40.98 based on an earnings ratio, earnings per share of $2.49. So guys, I hope this video helped. It's not a very complicated concept to understand. Similar companies should have similar PE ratios. We can use the PE ratio and a bit of algebra to calculate other stock prices. But if it did help, you know, give it a thumbs up. You know, subscribe to my channel. I put new videos out on a numerous amount of topics, as often as I possibly can. But until next time, guys, I'll see you soon.